never do these on your iPhone. Today, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys four different things that you're doing on your iPhone that is reducing your performance speed, killing your battery, and overall destroying your iPhone's longevity. By simply stopping these habits on your iPhone, you're gonna improve your overall iPhone's aging process. With that being said, let's get started. All right, so the number one thing that I see on most people is that I believe they do this mostly unconsciously. Let's say I open up a Safari or any other app for that matter, instead of just exiting and just continuing your day, what most people do is that they fully kill the app just like this. They don't want it to run in the background and they believe by doing this, they're actually improving their iPhone's performance speed and just saving battery. But that's not the case because iPhone has a really good RAM power. It does really well of managing things that are running in the background. So watch this. If you're just watching something on your Safari, if you just swipe up and exit the app simply just like this, and if you come back to it, it's gonna pick up from where you left off. Meaning you're not putting so much pressure on the CPU. Whereas if you exit this and then come back to your Safari, you guys can see it's gonna reload the whole entire page, which is gonna put a lot more pressure on your CPU. And for that matter, also reduce your battery as well. So instead of fully exiting and fully shutting down or killing the app, just simply exit and go about your day. And maybe at the end of the day, before you go to sleep, you can just take a look at certain apps here, certain apps that you don't want, you can just exit them and kill them. Please stop exiting or killing them every time you open an app. But nonetheless, moving to the next thing that a lot of people do is misusing low power mode. So low power mode on iPhone gets triggered when it reaches below 20%. When your iPhone reaches 20% by default, it's gonna give you a prompt saying, do you wanna turn on low power mode? And the reason being for that is that when you turn on low power mode, it is gonna significantly reduce your performance speed. It totally does not make sense to turn on low power mode when you have a battery percentage that is above 20%. For example, I have right now 51%. If I turn on my low power mode, what it is essentially doing in the background is that it is slowing down everything in terms of processing power. So to prove my point right here, as you guys can see, I ran a benchmark results over here with turn off, the low power mode turned off with low power mode turned off. And you can see my results. We have single core score, multi score. We have a single core score of 2643 and multi core score of 6835, which are really impressive for the iPhone 14 Pro Max. But a few minutes later, pay attention to the time. A few minutes later, I ran another test. Same exact, nothing changed. Battery percentage, almost same. But the only thing is that we turn on the low power mode and look at the results. We have a single core score of 1043 and multi-core score of 3546, which is half the score of what we had before. It is significantly reducing your performance speed. So it totally does not make sense to use low power mode when you have a battery percentage above 20%. So please do yourself a favor, stop using low power mode or abusing this feature in my opinion, because although yes, you might save a tiny bit of battery, you're not gonna get the best out of your iPhone and you're gonna be wasting a lot of your time because your apps will take longer time to run and everything in your iPhone is gonna get slowed down. So it does not make sense to use low power mode in uh, my opinion, obviously. But moving on, the third thing that a lot of people do, I and I don't blame you because this is kind of a sneaky, all iPhones by default, open up your, if you open up your settings and go to your privacy and security and go to tracking, all iPhones by default, will come with this feature turned on. Meaning if you read over here, allow apps to ask to track your activity across other companies, apps, and websites. When this is off, all new app tracking requests are automatically denied. Meaning, if this is turned on and you allow the apps to track you, even when you exit the app, it is still tracking your activity, which is, in my opinion, very, very dangerous, and it just takes away from your peace of mind. So just simply turning this off will solve all of your issues. If you turn this off, it's not gonna ask you to track anymore, it's not gonna request it, and you will turn off this and have a peace of mind, and as well as save some performance speed, save some battery because this is running in the background unconsciously without you even knowing about it. And moving on guys, the fourth thing that a lot of people let it go is basically leaving auto update on. By default, auto update will be turned on instead of manually updating your apps. iPhone wanted to make your life simpler by just allowing auto update. I don't want my apps to just update overnight when I'm not aware of it because certain updates are a little bit dangerous, certain it reduces the performance, certain updates even completely change up the app, which I don't recognize then which app it is. So that's why within the settings, I just go to app store and then turn off 
app updates if you want to update your apps manually what you need to do is go to your app store and then maybe check every two weeks or at the end of the month just take a look at all of the updates that are available over here instead of manually doing you can just read about the update what is included what is being fixed you're just more aware and you're more consciously using your apps in my opinion but nonetheless these are the four things that you should never do on your iphone i believe this is going to improve your overall longevity of your iphone slow down the aging process improve your performance as well as save your battery life i hope this video was helpful let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and also leave me a big thumbs up because it really helps the channel out and subscribe down below for weekly tech videos just like this one i'll catch you guys next video peace